have any time for that guy is not like me. It's the photos talk for themselves. I'm just here to just, I'm glad to talk. And like I said, if you have questions. Or so you can speak? Yes. Why could you, ask, could you speak louder, yeah. Barry, so we hear the question? Oh, I did yes. Do we have a microphone? Has she hand painted? I have a loud voice. <laughs> How she had uh, hand painted on it. How or yeah. so how? So so I started that because we, I, I I don't know what came first of chicken or the egg, but I worked for a woman a million years ago in Atlanta, um, who was a portrait painter. But wait, let me explain. She would take portraits that people went to these photo studios like Olin Mills, I think they were called in Atlanta. Um, maybe Sears, he <laughs> did the family portrait. And you would bring her those, either the actual picture or a negative. You know, actually they'd bring the picture and I'd shoot the negative and I would print it in the dark before. Then I would hand paint it like lightly, like I would just put the first layer of color on it for her. And then she would paint it with brushes and make it look like an actual oil painting. She also restored photos. She took, you know, old photos that were totally damaged and she brought them back to life, total, total restoration. She was an actual painter. That was her background. I, as a photographer, I just was, just again, I would just start smearing the first layer of paint. But I was doing all our darkroom work, you know, so I was also doing my part-time gigs in darkroom to keep money flowing so I could keep shooting. So I kind of learned it from her, and then, you know, um, and then I did it my way. I didn't want it to be all that thick, thick, thick paint, but just enough where it looked not like a photo, but not like a painting. And I, I always used really my fingers in cotton mostly. I once in a while used a brush. I, I used mostly Marshall's oil paints for the photographers in the room. That old paint stuff, you know. And I just used that. Sometimes I used other paints, like real artist paints. And I even use eye makeup. <laughs> I can rub it into the it works. Oh yeah, I did, like after the lay I would build it up with layers and I would spray it with different sprays, you know, to set it and then give it a sheen or a or a mat or some kind of and then I would put more in and I just kept going up until I liked it, you know. So it was all experimental, but I, I built a portfolio up once. Like one year, I actually hurt my back and I was laid up for two weeks and I just started taking different photos that I thought were conducive. I wouldn't hand color every photo. I could. I could see any of those hand painted ones. Maybe not the one on the bottom right. I wouldn't do that one. But, unless somebody commissioned me, obviously. But there were certain ones that I felt were conducive. And always, to make this very long story short, I always felt like it had to be a very strong photo on its own in black and white. One of my techniques, though, for the photographers in the room was always um, sepia toning, whether it was, you know, because it was a lot of African Americans, so I wanted to bring that natural skin tone into it, but it was, even for Caucasian skin, I felt like that it warmed it up. And in fact, because I did that in those days, every exhibit I do, it, I usually can um, sepia tone the prints for the black and whites. I feel like I don't know, I just felt like enough of black and white jazz photography, you know? I, I it just felt so perfect. And I wanted and these are musicians who have such warmth and, and you know, I, I felt like that sepia tone added a, a, a beautiful uh, natural vibe to the photo. So you know. Yeah, good. Yeah. Can you imagine all the colors yourself? Or yeah, you yeah, yeah. That? That's a good question. That's a good question. The songs were in just like from my shop in black and white. I never had a color photo to go by. And others, uh, like the Miles ones, no, I, I, I just imagined those. I, I, I wanted to, I, and I have to say, I, I kind of had a lot of colors that kept showing up, you know? I, that I could, that I kept. Like he does, certain like songs. magentas and yeah, and and but Miles, like there's one with the yellow jacket and there's the one with the green jacket. No, the green. Right. But then there was one of one of the reggae singers, uh, Dennis Brown, which I actually shot that image in. I shot him in color, color slides in those days, and I might have shot some in black and white too. I think I did. I have black and white negatives, 
Yeah, I would always shoot both, because I mean, back in those days, you know, I, I really liked shooting black and white mostly, felt most comfortable with it, you know, and I, so once in a while when I did shoot the color, because I needed to for the sign or whatever, um, yeah, I would have, so in that case, I had that slide to look at and see what he was wearing, and I want, I loved the colors, and I used it just because it, it was perfect, but um, most of them are made up. And like, you know, the wind and graph like that's the, the background's black. I mean totally the black stage or you know, dark stage or whatever. But I, I wanted to I just wanted to give it some of ads, you know. So maybe it's like a, a hair stylist with a lot of scissors, with scissors they get a little too happy. <laughs> I might I might have gone a little too far with some of them. Because you know, I mean I just yeah. Thanks. I could see you love colors, but then that outfit, I'm stealing it from you. <laughs> After I go and do some diet. Well, I'm hungry. Yeah. Uh, so do you shoot just the one Do I shoot? Yeah, I do. I do. It's really What bad. was the question? I, I feel terrible. Do I just shoot digital now? I'm guilty. <laughs> guilty as charged, yeah. I mean, I, have, I still have a. I, my first digital camera was a D200, you know, a piece of crap, right? I sold my F5 to get that, and, and I bought an F100 with, you know, so I thought I was gonna have my, not as good as the F5, but decent F100. It's still sitting there, I probably put 10 holes of film through it, it's, it's, and you know, I'm keeping it, because who knows, maybe one day I will want it. And is there a difference in the way you shoot? Yeah, kind of. I did see, I used to really see in black and white, because I used to shoot, I mean, so much of that early work is with the, the Nikon FM2, or FM, and FM and then FM2, I, yeah, that, that, that was, those are the two that I had. And I, I, I literally saw, I saw black and white. I just, I would look through that lens and I would see black and white. I just imagined everything. And, and so now I, I see color, you know, and, and it's hard because, and then, you know, I'll, I'll, do some, I'll do some conversions to black and white, and they'll look great. But it's it just like it feel I feel like I'm 